Hello there, my name's Tyne and welcome to the Stanley Parable. Uh, as you can see, there's no face cam right now. What is that? Oh my god, no face cam. Ah! Well, that's just something I'm experiment ex ex experimenting with. Uh, just, you know, without a face, recording without a face cam, uh, because, well, everyone has a face cam these days, and, you know, uh, I, w I didn't think it really added much to the experience. Leave a comment if you want the face cam back, if you say, who, I don't have to look to, uh, look, see your slightly not really attractive face, then... Uh, leave a comment saying that you don't want the face cam to come back. That's also cool. I don't care. I mean, as l let's just go for the best possible experience for you viewers because that's the best thing possible. And I'm waving my arms around right now, even though that's no not even a face cam recording me. So what am I waving my arms around for? Let's get into the game. <laughs> loading, loading. You've probably uh, all seen videos of the Stanley Parable, or you have maybe even played it at some point in your life. You should have, at least. It's, it's a cool game. Why is this loading taking so long? Seriously. It shouldn't have to load this long. What did I do wrong? Ah! Oh, yell yelling is working. God damn it, game! Start loading! You you can do it! You can do it! Yeah! Almost there, almost there. Yeah! This is the story of a man named Stanley. I'm Stanley. Well, I'm not, but Stanley I'm playing Stanley. Stanley company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Oh, that sounds like my job. came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. That sounds boring. Stanley was happy. But I'm glad he's happy with the job he's doing. I mean, you one should day, be. Something very peculiar happened. What, what happened? Something that would forever change Stanley. I oh, know. Something he would never quite forget. Stanley, no! He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, uh -huh. when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Uh -oh. No one showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all hi, the Stanley. years of the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Hi, hi was Stanley. Very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained uh -huh. his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Do we dare to venture out of the office? I mean, that that doesn't sound like something Stanley would do, would it? Really? Okay, let's let's do this. Okay, we're outside of our office. There's nobody around. What's All going on? Workers were gone. What could it mean? Yeah, what could it Stanley mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Meeting room. No Where's the meeting room? Stanley looked. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Yeah, there's, there's nobody here. Well, there, there, there's a mug. Someone forgot to put away the dirty mug. Just like me right now. There's a mug right next to me. Because I just had some coffee. But there, there's another mug. It, be my valentine. Uh, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know you that well. Employee 422. I mean, you're. I don't know. I, I mean, I guess I'd be a Valentine. I don't know. What does this one say? Fur. Fuel. Oh, fuel, of course. 420. Woo. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's find this meeting room. I hate Mondays. I've already seen that mug before. Okay. This way. Let's go to the meeting room. Is this the meeting room? 
Looks like a room where people met. Don't know if it's a meeting room, but it sure is a room where people met. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. The door behind me closed. Did I do that? And why is this white? That's old. Okay, door on the left. Let's go. That door just closed behind me. That's not a good thing. That's, why is that monitor turned on? Were the other monitors turned on in the other offices? I don't know. I don't remember. What's up with this light? Yet the meeting there room. No single person here either. Uh, I can see that. Wave of disbelief. Stanley uh -huh. decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping mm -hmm. he might find an answer there. Wait, that, that's someone that's a designated white bomb world manager. Okay. Rest in peace, Franz. Uh, I don't. I didn't really know you that well. Were you employee four hundred twenty-one or four hundred twenty-three? I don't know. What does all of this mean? Legal question mark group. Uh, okay. It, oh, it's a meeting schedule. Oh, okay. Uh, that's easy. <laughs> Aren't all of the one ch the slides with charts? S slides with charts? The broom closet. Can we go in? We can. Stanley stepped into the broom closet. Hello. There was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. But there are st there there is something here. Look at this wrench. Can't pick it up. Can't pick anything there up. There was nothing here. No choice to make. No path to follow. Just an empty broom closet. No reason to duct tape! Here. That's duct tape! Okay, th if there's no reason, then let's continue onwards. Can we go back here? Someone locked the door behind us. Oh, a flight of stairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Upstairs, you say? What if I go downstairs? Can I go through this door? No. Uh. That looks like something bad. Let's not go there. It, it looks like danger. Let's go to the boss's office. Upstairs. Is it here? This looks way more fancy than the rest of the building. Is this it? The executive bathroom. I can't even go there. I'm not an executive. I'm just... That door closed. Is, what is this? A horror game? Who needs two phones? I've got one phone and it's too much. I, I barely use it. Who needs two? What what does that say? Business time. Time for the business. Whoa. Into his manager's office. Uh, what was that sound? Was once again uh, to discover uh, an indication of any human life. Yeah, there's nobody Shocked, here. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. Uh -huh. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. I don't but even course, see an number. Oh, there. Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Okay, so what was it? 2485? Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. Yeah, but... If he knew that the combo was 2845, it would be another story entirely. But yet incredibly... Random! Yeah! Random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Yeah, and sheer easy. luck, totally. He what was down there? The newly opened passage what was down there? I wanted to jump down. What's this? Is this portal? It must be portal. What's going on? What's this? What's this darkness? Can I go somewhere? Yeah, no, there's nowhere to go there. This is cool. Okay, press the big red button. Oh, we're going down. Welcome to Aperture Science. Oh, loading again, yeah. Loading is always fun. It it was almost full and then it just depleted and now we're almost there again. So let's hope this time it doesn't just go away. 
Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, uh -huh. as though he felt more free to think for himself, mm -hmm. to question the nature of his job. Well, Why that's a good idea. Now, when for years it had never occurred to him. I don't know. You tell me, Mr. Narrator. Okay. We we really are. Stanley walked straight ahead through mind the control door, facility. Red mind control facility. Or I could go to the escape. Let's follow Mr. Narrator. And the door closed. What is this? What is this? What's going on? Let's press the big button. The lights rose in okay. an enormous room packed with television screens. That's expensive. What horrible secret mm -hmm. did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Yes. Did he have the strength to find out? Do I? Oh boy, do I. I've got the strength to find out. What's up with this place? So, more mugs. I hate Mondays again. How many times is that mug gonna be there? Surveillance cameras, good. Okay. Where's mine? Two, two, four. employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. Yeah. Also mine. Many individuals reduced to images on a screen. Uh, this. Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place. Uh, freedom meant not nothing. Nothing. The, okay, this is giving me kind of an ha a headache. Like all of these images. On the screens. So what does that mean? This mind control facility. It was too horrible uh -huh. to believe. It couldn't be true. But, but Had it Stanley is. Really been under someone's control all this time? Was this Apparently, the yes. Happy with his boring job? That his Probably. Had been manipulated to accept it blindly. I I guess so. But no. That's he okay, right? To believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never! We're breaking free! Wasn't it? Was it even possible? No, it's not possible. We're getting out of here! Entire life utterly blind to the world? Of course not. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Control Mind control. With emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded okay. from this very place. And as the cold reality Beep. of his past Beep. began to sink in, Boop. Stanley decided that this Beep. machinery would never again Beep. exert Beep. its Beep. terrible Beep. power over another human life. Beep. For he would Beep. dismantle Beep. the controls once Beep. and for Beep. all. Uh, I'm dismantling the controls. I'm totally doing that. Bloop! Bloop! Boop! Beep! Boop! Boop! Beep! Okay. Uh, I don't think those buttons do anything. But that doesn't mean that I won't do anything. Okay, five. Boop. Uh, let's not go in there. Let's look around a bit. What's down here? Should I go down there? I'm going down there. Because YOLO. What, what, are, what are these lights? Let's follow the lights. Whee! The lights are nothing. That's too bad. What does this door do? Can I get out here? The door is locked. Of course it is! Why wouldn't they lock the door? To this mind control place. Okay. Let's boop this five, uh, four more times. Boop! Four. Five. One more time. Okay, I've pressed it six times now. Oh, there's something else up there. It's another button. Let's go there. Let's see what it is. Oh, there are, there are multiple buttons. Okay, so there's one, two. Where's three? Where is three? I know four is up there. Five is over there. So where is number three? Where is number three? Can we spot it from here? Hello, number three. Whoa, what was that? That was some stupid stuff. Okay, so one, two. Three. Where are the? I know you must be somewhere here. 
Are you there? Nope. Are you here? Yes, number three. Okay, let's go get number four and then number five. Let's see what this does. And I suppose we press the power button after that? Four. And let's go to number five. All the way on the other side of this big giant room. We're almost there. We can do it, Stanley. We're dismantling this mind control center. And nobody will ever use this power again. This stuff again. Okay, so that's number five. Let's go press the power button. Let's hope that's what it does. Come on. Let me press the button. Come on, let me press the button. It's not letting me press the button. Okay. I guess I'm moving on then. Or maybe the combination is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then the power button. I don't know. Do the doors close? The doors do not close. I can still go back. And I can still go back. Oh my god. System power. When at last he found the source of the room's power, mm -hmm. he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to mm -hmm. put an end to this horrible... Okay, power's off. Am I done? Did I do it? Did I win? Did I win? I think I won. Okay, so I'm in darkness now. But I can walk. Madness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Uh, understandable. Is it, over? it is, right? What's yes. that? What's that? He had won. I have he won! Defeated the machine. Yeah! He shackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Good, the door is opening yet, for me. Even as the immense door slowly opened, stand there. It is opening very slowly. Oh, probably it's a ton. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? I guess but we'll never know. streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Yeah. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal oh, had yeah. not been to understand, but to let go. Probably. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Whatever yeah. life he lives, it will be his. It's my life, it's now it or never. The only thing worth I ain't gonna live forever. Through the open door. Okay, okay. Let's go out into the field. Stand We're out! Cool We're out! Skin. Oh yeah! But where are we? Scotland? Ireland? This That's what it looks like. The way the way. Ru Ru What's going on happen. with his voice? And Stanley was happy. We did it, guys! We beat Stanley Parable. At least we, we've we got one of the endings. That's something. We beat the game. We even have an achievement for it. We, we can prove that we beat Stanley Parable. But did we really? We're back inside. What is this? What's going on? We beat the game. Why are we back in here? What's... What's up? If you want to know what's up, and if you don't know yet, tune in next time for more! Yeah! More Stanley Parable to come very, very soon. If you enjoyed it, please leave a comment down below, and also uh, leave a comment on this whole face cam thing. If, it, if you think it did add something, or if it didn't, you know, maybe it's better without a face cam. Maybe uh, it's funnier to just listen to me talk without seeing me talk. I don't know. Anyway, uh, money to ten. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Why was I waving?